morning! It's a weekend here in New York and I'm going to Norwalk, Connecticut to visit my high school friends. We're here in Grand Central Station. I cannot believe BTS performed here and they had a station or terminal close. Remember that iconic performance? It's just unbelievable. train to Norwalk, Connecticut. Hi guys, I'm already here in Norwalk with my host, my high school friend, Lawrence. Hello, hello. How many years have you been living here, Lawrence? Uh, we used to live here, we lived here for about almost two years, and then we moved to Nashville, and now we moved back. Alright. For this weekend, I'm just going to chill in their house with Ilana. He's going to cook barbecue for me and some Filipino dessert, and it's, it's just going to be a laid-back, relaxing weekend, which I need after almost a month of travel. Makes sense. <laughs> and Fairfield County, Connecticut is, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, is one of the most uh, affluent areas in America. And uh, so you have the areas of like Greenwich, Darien, Westport, uh, New Canaan, and that's where a lot of uh, people from uh, New York, they treat this as their, uh, their suburb. Oh. <laughs> so the actors and actresses? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Like uh, uh, Paul Newman used to live in Westport. Oh, wow. And then, you know, like uh, other people like David Letterman, wow. people like that, they all live in this area. But uh, not in this town. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I guess, but I guess those TikTok stars, those huge ones, they're from Norwalk. Norwalk. They, they don't live anymore. So, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't follow TikTok. I don't even have TikTok. Yeah, I don't have TikTok. Okay. We might have, you know, <laughs> chance upon them without recognizing them. Maybe, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where we go to my house, but we're going to get, there's pies right here. Hi, Michelle's Pies. I think she was on like some sort of TV show. Uh, Cupcake Mars or what? We just bought some pies. <laughs> That's my friend Yoli. She is camera conscious. So this is their dog, Buster. They have two dogs here. And Yolanda, I will not show her on camera, but we went, we studied together in the university in the Philippines. Quick shot of Yolanda, but she'll kick me out. Coffee to wake me up. My friend Lawrence baked this. Biko. I don't know what's the English term for this, <laughs> but it's made of what? This is made of uh, I don't know, sticky, sticky rice. rice. Sticky rice with, uh, with brown sugar. With brown sugar. Okay. Coconut. Coconut. This is a popular dessert coconut. in the Philippines. Yeah. Ah, coconut. Okay. So there's multi levels here. So you can have 
This one would be a, basically a four level house. So you have the bottom level. Okay. And then you go upstairs and you have the and then you have one more. So that'd be two, three, four, and then then you have the fourth level. Okay. That goes right here. My room. <laughs> <laughs> you have beautiful artworks here. <laughs> you wanna make that? Really? Yeah, she painted all that. Oh my! That. What? Else. Even this? No, no. I'll be back in New Orleans. Okay. Wow, yo! I didn't know you're a painter. <laughs> Lawrence is now grilling. Yay! So we just finished eating lunch and right now we're on the way to Cranberry Park because we'll bring the two dogs there, Buster and Bandit. And then we'll throw some frisbees, very American. <laughs> so first time to experience that. Hi Bandit, say hi to the vlog. Hello. Where's Buster Bandit? Show my viewers Buster, your brother, your kuya, your older brother, your opa. So now we are going to walk the dog. <laughs> this is a, is a very haunted area too. Why? Indian burial grounds and this mansion itself has a checkered history. The guy invented uh, sandpaper. And then? He owned this whole area. And then what's the horror story about that? Uh, what's the scary story? I don't know. He, he was paranoid. He's a weird guy. I think uh, on the basement he has like all these pictures of clowns. Scary stuff. I'll show you something scary over here. Rumor is is that the guy was super paranoid during the uh, Cold War. Okay. He made a bunch of underground tunnels and everything. And if you look here, this was like 40 feet off of the thing. Oh my God. What's that? It's a chair. So there's a hidden room down there. So, um... <laughs> did it's like he make... a horror movie, right? I know, but did he make this to protect himself in case... I don't know, but supposedly the whole area has a, a underground tunnel network and... He was paranoid about the, the war. The Cold War. Yeah, yeah. So he's a paranoid wealthy person. <laughs> I'm now with dog parents, Lawrence and Miranda, and we're walking their dogs. It's, it's the first time I experienced something like this. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it right here. We only just walk that. You can go actually go all the way. We, we walk from, uh, from here. There, right there. Okay. Now right there. Whoa. Finally, we're at the dog park. We are going to throw some frisbees to the dog. Very American. <laughs> So where are we headed next? Uh, Taylor Farm. What's Taylor Farm? It's a huge park right near the beach called Shady Beach. We'll be going to the beach today. Alright.
Uh, this is uh, Shady Beach, also Calf Pasture Beach in Norwalk, Connecticut. The interesting part about this beach is that you can see it's uh, it goes in the water, but you can see that it's um, grassy. So they didn't actually change anything about it. It's still wetlands, so it still has grass before it reaches the water. So low tide, you can see that there's still a lot of grass right before the beach. We just came from uh, the forest, right? And now we're at the beach. Yeah just a short distance away from the beach forest to beach so across the other side that's long island that's where uh, the hamptons are Farm. It's a 30 acre dog park right next to Calf Pasture Beach. Yes. So we're doing another stroll here in the dog park, and there's another trail in the woods so today is walking day <laughs> bandit you we should get to decompress a little right the what you get to decompress a little yeah definitely Come on. There is a dog park. I forgot about the fact that this is actually my first time in a dog park. And there is such a thing as a dog park. <laughs> from Stu Leonard's. It's from the local uh, famous supermarket here in Norwalk. I'm just sitting around. 
just relaxing. guys, I'm with my friend Bandit again. We're on our way to Sally's Pizza. It's a very popular pizza place here in Connecticut. And why is it popular, Lor? Uh, it's usually ranked in the top 10 in the, of best pizzas in America. And uh, New Haven, Connecticut is also arguably the pizza capital of the United States. All right. So I didn't know that. <laughs> But it seems like Bandit is already excited to eat his pizza. Same with Buster over there. They're my friends now. You know me guys, I'm scared of dogs, but they're friendly dogs, so I love them. Oh. <laughs> agree, agree Bandit, agree? Oh, he, he agrees! <laughs> It's okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, right? We're good, bandit! Yay! My other friend Buster is over there. He loves me. But he's not happy right now. I don't think he likes pizza. We're walking to Pepe since our reservation for Sally's is still at 12.30 so we can only get our pizza there by 12.30 and so Pepe's Pizza is another famous pizza place here in Connecticut. In fact, they're rival pizza parlors. So we'll, we'll just see what's in there. As you can see, there's also a line in Pepe's. People really do line up here to get their pizza fix. <laughs> Frank Pepe's is also probably considered one of the best uh, pizza places in uh, America. It's also a New Haven staple. I personally like Sally's better, that's why we're eating at Sally's. But also personally, I like the uh, Frank Pepe's. There's another branch in Fairfield, Connecticut, and that's the one we're going to be going to later. While waiting for our order at Sally's, we decided to do a stroll first and explore a bit of New Haven. With you. I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly. I'm walking with Buster, the dog. The Buster Kita. So We're friends. With you. I wanna stay with you. With you. I love the way that you love me. It's 12.30, so we're getting our pizza now. <laughs> we finally got our pizza, and we're going to the park, and we'll eat the pizza there. So the, is that the best seller? Yeah, this is the one that. Then this is their specialty. It's like a potato pie. Potato pie. Wow. Potato and onions. Okay. So only Sally's Pizza sells yeah. that kind of pizza. Yep. The other one that we might be eating at later, uh, Pepe's, has a clam pie right. with a uh, seafood on it. Okay. Let's eat. All right. Let's eat. Oh, well, let's eat. Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> Okay, so I'm excited to have my first Sally's Pizza. I'm trying first their... Potato. 
<laughs> mm. Like it? There's like a. Is there a. Do we have? Artichokes. Mm, so that's, uh, that's artichoke. Yeah. This is my first potato pizza. <laughs> I haven't tasted anything like this in the Philippines. Okay. Definitely. First pizza done. <laughs> and I'm now going to try their classic cheese pizza. You know what I noticed? What I like about their crust is that you can really taste the smoke that comes from the coal oven. So I like that because it's 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 like you're making pizza barbecue style. <laughs> this one. See this? Yeah, this is re this really tastes good. <laughs> I love tomatoes and I love cheese. While we were eating pizza in the park, a local approached us and started telling us stories about the history of New Haven and this park. I would have wanted to record it for you guys, but she doesn't want to be recorded and I can't remember all the things that she said. But she did give us an advice about a picturesque spot here in this area. And that's why we're going there to have our pictures taken. Dessert or desserts. <laughs> we have Biko, cheesecake, um, pies for Michelle's, and ice cream. And we'll be eating dessert while watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. They are Boston Celtics fans here. <laughs> So I will root for Milwaukee. <laughs> Get in. Go UP. So we had Sally's for lunch and right now we're heading to Pepe's for dinner. So we're now at Pepe's. This is not the original branch, but Lauren said this is the better branch. <laughs> so this is the clam pie from Pepe's. This is very popular in their menu. So <laughs> I'm going to try it now. Let's see that if it's worth the hype. <laughs> it's like the, the, the clam is really fresh. It tastes fresh. So it's like you're eating seafood but only it's on a pie. I can taste the seawater. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. I haven't tasted anything like this. It's my turn to eat the cheese pie to compare it with the cheese pie of Sally's pizza. And let's see if which pizza it tastes better. It's hot though, so. Okay. This one is more cheesy. The other one is has more tomato sauce. But since I'm a tomato lover, I think I prefer the other one. But if you're a cheese lover, then you should get this one. Enough of my being a food critic, cause in all honesty, I love both Sally and Pepe's pizza and I'm seriously craving for them right now. 
And it's near the end of my US travel series. And in my last vlog, I spent 5 days in my favorite city in the world, New York. Like and share this video, click the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel now. Till next time!